<laughs> your memory goes. <laughs> It's so good. That's that's how it always works. Once it gets good, something always happens. Hey guys, it's Lindsay, and I am back with my good friend Greg Picklesimer. What's up, guys? And we are here again with Theater Talk, and today we're going to be talking about prop etiquette. We've talked about theater etiquette, and we're going to be doing a couple other etiquette ones in the future. So just stay tuned, and right now we're going to jump into some of the things that you should do when it comes, or not do, when it comes to props. Number one, props are not toys. <laughs> uh, you would think that would be obvious. You would really think that would be obvious. Even if it looks like a toy, it's not a toy. It only needs to be messed with when it's on stage, during a show, or a rehearsal where you are running everything like a show to be used. You don't want to have to do something wrong and mess up props. So you're just going to make a lot of people mad and really upset with you. So just don't treat them like toys. Which goes into the second one. If it's not your prop, please, for the love of everything that is holy and Shakespeare, do Baby not touch Jesus, it. Baby Jesus, adult Jesus. If it's not yours, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Number three, even if it is your prop, Still, don't touch it until it's meant to be in your hands for you to go on stage. The more it's in your hands, the more likely something bad is going to happen. So you only want it when you absolutely need it. Number four, try to use your props in rehearsals as soon as possible. As soon as the prop designer or prop master provides you with the props needed for your particular They're scenes. They're like, hey, I have this now, start using it. It's exactly. a good sign to start using it. <laughs> so once you get it, get used to using it so that you, you know, get that system going. Mm -hmm. Number five, do a pre-show check of all your props. Yes, there is going to be a prop manager and someone is going to be taking care of that, but it never hurts to go by and look before the show starts to make sure that everything is where it needs to be for you to remember what's going on. Some places have actual either segmented areas or shelves or tables that you can put things on or in. Some people need a prop set specifically for them because maybe they like have to run off and get right back on. So there may be something set like right there or maybe somebody's holding it to give it to you. You definitely want to do a pre-show check. It just will, it will ease your mind and make things go a little bit smoother. That way you're not worried about, oh gosh, is it going to be there? Number six. If you have an edible prop, do not eat or drink it until it is actually needed. Like for example, if you have to drink a glass of brandy, hopefully it's not really brandy in that I glass. hope it is. <laughs> I take that back. Maybe some strong brandy, preferably. Well, I mean, and I've made this example before, like if you're supposed to eat an apple or take a bite of an apple, you're not going to just waste an apple every time you run yeah. the scene. It makes no sense. You so, know how to bite into an apple. Uh, <laughs> you do it. You eat things every day. So there's no need to do it until you absolutely need to. Okay. Moving on. Number seven. If a prop is broken, you need to let a prop manager know immediately. So if a prop is, if it breaks during tech rehearsal, they can fix it as soon as possible. Or if you're having an issue with the prop, like if it's not functioning fluently like it's supposed to. I had an, I have actually have an example of this. I was just in The Little Mermaid and us instrumental mermaids, we use drums. And you know, they were made out of like these little bathroom like trash can things like just plastic and on the open side they had a piece of white cardboard and they had just basically hot glued that in to make it and I was sitting there through one of the shows and it just I was it <laughs> I kept going inward and it was gone <laughs> so the rest of the time I had to improvise I let them know immediately when I walked off stage and from that point I just turned the thing over and used the bottom of it like you would probably do anyway so that's just one of those things that you can't just go I'm gonna go lay that on the table and not let anybody know you gotta let people know that type of stuff yes number eight if a prop is not working for you in a particular scene, let the prop master and the director know as soon as possible. Especially the prop master. And if they say, well, 
I don't really have much of a say on that, you need to ask the director, then that's when you go to the director. Because you want to go to the director as little as possible with this type of stuff. But if they're saying, I'm not really sure, you should ask so-and-so, then do what they say. Because honestly, they know better than you. <laughs> or if uh, you feel like this prop doesn't make sense, why is my character handling this prop in this scene if it doesn't make sense? You know, yeah. You let them know. Or like, say you have something and your pocket isn't big enough. So yeah. you have to go, well, that didn't fit in my pocket. Then they have to go, okay, well, that didn't work. I need to figure out what still looks similar, but will work for that. So either it's the costumer who adds something into it or the prop manager, which is what's more likely to happen, is gonna find a different prop for you. Number nine. Don't lay drinks or snacks or anything on other props or the prop table that just simply shouldn't be there. And that includes food, snacks, whatever you're drinking, especially whatever you're drinking, because or or and not even to leave it on like stereos and things. Like anything mm. that's back there, mm, stay away from all that stuff. It's also gonna like make people angry. And those prop managers have everything set exactly where they know what's going on, when they're needed and everything. Or what happens if you're doing a older show and all of a sudden the cart comes out and there's a plastic water bottle on it. That, that is not gonna, That is not period at all. That would be a disaster. So that stuff happens and you really just can't let it happen. Not only that, because if something got knocked over or spilled, then a prop could be completely ruined, if not other things that are also laying around the prop at the time. So just never lay anything on top of props or props tables and or even set. Totally falls into that category. Leave your snacks and your water bottles back in the dressing room, preferably. Number 10, treat every prop weapon as if it's the real deal. Blades, guns, guns. treat them like if, as if they are a real weapon. And this is like not just on stage. This goes for off stage too. People don't know necessarily if something is real or fake and people are gonna freak out if you're back there waving a gun around and they don't know what the heck is going Especially on. Especially if it's a blank, a gun that shoots blanks. Cause, uh, yeah, cause mm. uh, you really just, mm. and you have to respect it. You have to respect what people may think or might not think. What if they're just someone that's in the company and they don't come as often and they don't have a prop and then all of a sudden you're waving this. They don't know if it's real or not. They're gonna assume it's not, but me personally, I'm gonna assume that it could be real. Especially with knives. Even though they are doled down. Oh god, yeah, you could still do damage you could, if you yeah, if you stab if someone, hard enough. Yeah, if you, or if you fall on it. That's oh. just oh the <laughs> point of the of rule number ten is treat weapons like they're the real deal. Respect that stuff. Yes, fear and respect it. Yes. All right, guys, so that is our list for prop etiquette this week, and we really hope that you can take a second to hit the subscribe button down below, leave us a thumbs up, and also hit that alert bell so that you can get notifications to when we post. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Later.